Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. A lot of strangeness to talk about today. Uh, I was sent an email from a viewer who had said he discovered a very strange and artificial looking shadow being cast down on the surface of planet Mars. And so I looked at this thing, and then what really struck me as being pretty damn mysterious is when he linked this shadow to a photograph that has been around for years of what is purportedly the legendary Black Knight satellite, which for those of you who don't know, is alleged to be an alien satellite that has been orbiting Earth for thousands of years. It's even been tracked and was discovered first back in the 1940s. They don't know who this satellite belongs to, they don't know where it came from, but what they do know is that this thing changes speed, it changes direction, and eventually they lost sight of the thing because it was moving around so much up in space, they lost track. But we'll get back to that in a second. So here we are on Google Mars, and we're gonna put in the coordinates here and zoom down to this very strange shadow. And I'll show you what this viewer found. And here we are. Now, if you can't see it yet, it's right here in the middle. It's pretty large and it's being cast uh, down on a mountain. And automatically, this struck me as very similar to another anomalous shadow that was captured during the Soviet Phobos mission. And we'll talk more about that here in a second as well. So this is the shadow here. And immediately, as you guys can probably tell, doesn't look like your standard shadow. This looks like something artificial that has been captured here, flying over the surface of Mars, casting this shadow down below as it moved over the surface. And this thing looks very artificial. It's got the pointed end. It almost looks like the side profile of a fighter jet or some sort of airplane. And even looks to have uh, what looks like a tail at the end, like you would see on some jets. And so what really struck me about this is when the viewer who discovered it had compared this shadow and the shape of this shadow to a photograph that was taken from the International Space Station, which you're seeing here. And unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know this is one of the most famous photographs in UFO research. And it's thought to possibly be the mythical Black Knight satellite. So I'm gonna show you guys now and you guys make up your mind, all right? I'm not saying that this is what this is. I have no idea. But the similarities were, in my opinion, definitely worth showing you guys. And so here we are, we have the shadow. And here I have rotated and overlaid the photograph of the object snapped above Earth. And now I'm just gonna fade this back and forth to show you how similar these two shapes are. I mean, identically matches this anomalous shadow from the pointed tip that kind of curves down to this, what I can only describe as a strange uh, fin or tail-like structure at the back of this thing. I, I mean, I think this is definitely eerie, which begs the question, is this proof that whatever this object was captured over Earth, is it now above Mars? Or did it visit Mars? Or is there something similar in shape to it that was flying over Mars at the time that this satellite image was taken and this shadow was being cast on the surface? And as I mentioned earlier, this isn't the first time that these huge shadows have been captured moving across the surface of Mars. In fact, it's happened multiple times. You've all likely heard of the Phobos incident. And for those of you who don't know, the Phobos program uh, consisted of two unmanned probes that were launched by the Soviet Union back in 1988. And when these probes reached Mars, which was their stated destination, one of them was almost immediately knocked out and all signal contact was lost. And the other probe went on to take some photographs of the Martian surface before finally also being knocked out and losing all contact. But in the last moments before it was knocked out, it snapped a couple of photographs that were then beamed back to Earth. And what was in those photographs could only be described as a massive cylindrical object that was seen floating above Mars near the moon Phobos. 
which you're seeing in this photo here that was featured in newspapers across the world. And we have this massive cylindrical ship that is thought to have been what knocked these satellites out. And not only that, but they also snapped pictures of the shadow that was coming from this massive cigar-shaped object as it moved across the surface of Mars. Many of you have seen these photographs as well, but I'm going to show you some new images of these shadows that show this thing moving across the surface, never before been seen on this channel. So you've seen this photograph here. And what you're seeing here is archive footage from the day that these photographs were actually beamed back to Earth and had just begun loading on the television monitor here where this massive shadow first came into view. Now, few of you have likely seen these photographs here that were taken of this same shadow and which truly show the nature of how massive and long this object was that was casting it down on the surface. A shadow so long, in fact, that the photograph wasn't large enough to capture all of it. And the Soviet scientists were completely perplexed by this. And yet again, here is a sequence of two photographs actually showing this shadow as it moved across the surface. And so the Phobos incident is yet another staple of this research, and I highly suggest you look into it if you haven't yet. We've done plenty of videos on it. But I just wanted to give you guys some context and some evidence to show you that these shadows and these objects have been seen over Mars many times. And so as we go back to this new shadow, uh, I will of course leave it up to you guys. I thought it was very intriguing. So moving on, and while we're on the subject of strangeness in space, here is a new clip that was recently discovered by my buddy Streetcap1 where he discovered what he described in his own video as a possible wormhole opening up above Earth, captured once again by the cameras on the International Space Station, and where for a brief moment, we see this anomalous green object pop in and out of view very quickly. If you blink, you'd miss it. That's how fast. But you're seeing a still image here, freeze frame, and some are theorizing that it's some sort of mini wormhole or portal opening up above the Earth. It's widely thought that UFOs use these wormholes to travel in between dimensions and to traverse large areas of space within only a few seconds. On the other hand, this could be an object, a UFO in and of itself, passing by very quickly. So, great finding by Streetcap1. Be sure to head over and check out his channel. And lastly, on the UFO footage front, again, some more strangeness in space, I have some new night vision footage emailed to me by a viewer of some very strange things caught moving through space using a high-powered telescope and a night vision video camera. So you're seeing the first video here where he is scanning the night sky and he suddenly sees an object moving through space making some very erratic maneuvers. And again, this is zoomed into space. What we're seeing here is night vision. So the only things that we're going to be seeing in this footage are reflective or metallic in nature. So we're not seeing any birds or bugs or anything like that. Everything you're seeing is reflecting light from space. So in other words, satellites or unknown craft. But look at this thing. Look at the way this thing is moving. And at one point, you even see another object flying past above this thing, going in the opposite direction. So this certainly, obviously, wasn't a satellite because satellites don't move like that. Now, another clip he sent where he discovered a formation of three lights flying together. You're seeing that here, where we have two objects at the top flying very close together and a third object tagging along at a distance. But what struck me is that these objects stay in perfect formation with one another. And at the end of the footage here, you'll even see another object that comes into view. And it's just, I think it goes to show how much activity is happening up in space. Of course, there are satellites, we have the ISS, that is unless you're a flat earther and you don't believe space or the ISS or anything exists. But for those of you who do, space is full of activity and not all of it comes from us or comes from satellites. Uh, now here is the last piece of footage that he provided of what possibly could be a satellite 
But as he described to me, this object that you're seeing here, although looking like a glowing circular object in the video, uh, was said to be actually a triangular shaped object, uh, as was seen by the camera operator and his wife, who looked at the thing through binoculars and with their naked eye described it as a large, dark, triangular object that was moving very, very slow and steady through the sky until he finally lost it. So I don't know of any satellite that is triangular in shape which again, makes this yet another very mysterious piece of footage. And I wanna thank Daniel for emailing these over and I'm gonna keep in touch with him. And so anytime he captures anything strange, he's gonna shoot me an email. So very exciting and I look forward to sharing more videos of his. All right, so a lot of cool and mysterious stuff in today's video, all having to do with space, whether above the earth or above other planets. And I think that it's a very exciting time to be alive, to be doing this research. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but the other day, Secure Team was featured on Fox News in Atlanta. Um, they were doing a story about how UFO sightings are ramping up all over the world. And they were kind enough to shout out the channel. And so I want to give a big thanks to them. Maybe we're doing something right for a change, but I'm just happy we're reaching people. And, um doing what we do best all with the help of uh, you guys so with that thank you for stopping by today if you have your own strange footage don't hesitate to email it over and stay tuned because i've got more strange stuff coming your way and i'll see you all back in just a bit <laughs>